is Moonshine here again today, and I'm actually going to do a different kind of video than I've done so far. It's going to be the first tag video I've ever done. Um, so we're going to start with the 40 witchy questions tag. Um, so I'm going to be looking down a lot here. It's got it on my phone where I'm answering the questions. So if I'm looking out of focus or I'm looking confused, it's because I'm looking down, uh, not because I'm look look specifically not looking at the camera. So. Um, let's get started. And the first question um, on this little list of 40 um, is, what kind of witch are you? I'm the biggest of them all. No joke. No, I'm kidding. Um, what kind of witch am I? That's a very interesting question to start with because I don't think that it necessarily has to have a specific title. I don't think I go by one. Um, I would call myself an eclectic green witch and what that means for me is that I draw from a lot of different um, ideologies, a lot of different, you know, religions in the sense of there are a lot of gods and goddesses that I believe in, that I work with, that um, not necessarily that I worship but so much that I call upon for whatever reasons that I might need. Um, I take a lot from Celtic Druidry, um, and I say Green Witch because I do a lot with herbs, especially with cooking and incense, and a lot with nature rather than so much with um, technology or anything like that, which I know there are techno witches out there, um, though I am not one. And I say eclectic because I started out with Wicca um, about 10 years ago, but I was really drawn towards the Roman and Greek pantheons rather than um, just the goddess and the god. And since I don't really work a lot with just gods, um, you know, I started to detract from Wicca and kind of went my own path, you know, and that's exactly how I feel like it should be. Um, but, you know, it kind of went more with the Greek, um, Greek pantheon and also a lot with Celtic and Norse god and mythology with that that I work with more than I do with just the goddess or the god um, or the moon for that matter. Um, the second question is how did I discover my path? Well that's also a good question. Um, I, I talked about it a little bit in my first video um, about coming out of the broom closet and a little bit in my other video introducing it to my channel but um, I discovered my path about 10 years ago. Um, so I was about 14, 15 years old, and I came across Wicca, um, which is what I started with. Um, a few years later down the road, I kind of got more interested in, like I said, um, with the different pantheons that there are, um, the you know innumerable ones, really. And I kind of found myself to be drawn to so many works of it and so many different paths that there are um, and I experimented a lot um, but I ultimately um, consider myself eclectic because I take from a lot rather than taking from one section and um, I don't have a problem with that. Um, number three, how long have you been practicing? I already answered that, 10 years. What tradition do you follow? I already answered that as well. Um, mostly Celtic Druidry with um, Greek pantheons and some Roman and a little bit of Egyptian. I, I do enjoy some things, especially with Cats and Bastet and Osiris and Iris. Um, I do work with them. Number five, are you solitary or do you have a coven? I am solitary. Probably always will be and I don't have a problem with that either. Do you practice divination? What kinds? I do. Um, mostly with tarot cards. I've done a little bit of scrying. I haven't, I, I've been meaning to study more up on that. There's actually a couple books I'm going to be getting that should be in the mail soon. Um, but mostly just tarot cards because that's my favorite kind of divination. Um, favorite pantheon. Oh, I skipped actually. Number seven, do would you teach witchcraft to your children? <laughs> I don't have children yet. Um, but most likely, yes. And I, I say this in a yes is in a kind of, I would rather have my child get a book, um, which I, there are actually several, there are several are out there, um, that talk about the many religions of the world. And then, um, it would be kind of one of those, well, this is what 
I believe this is what I practice and um, obviously my child would would probably grow up with that they would grow up with Yule um, a lot of Sow Sow and Halloween obviously they're gonna celebrate with that um, but also because my family predominantly is Christian they're gonna grow up in the Christian faith too because they're gonna go to Christmas parties they're gonna go to Easter they're gonna go to Thanksgiving you know they're gonna be exposed to that more um, more than maybe not so much that I would like but just because my family works at that um, but I definitely I definitely would teach them some things only if they want to it wouldn't be like you have to be a witch or you have to be Christian or you have to be this or you have to be that you can be whatever you want um, this is just what, what mom does and this is what dad does and this is what I'm gonna teach you a little bit but you know that would probably be like they're gonna grow up with like you know for a couple of years but when they get older they get to decide what they want to do and I think that's better um, than just lumping them all in together with one thing um, to continue um, number eight do you have a patron matron deity I um I don't currently and I say that because I used to work a lot with Aphrodite, um, or Venus, depending on how you look at her. Um, but now, um, not that I haven't been working with her, but I'm, I'm meaning to connect with her some more again. But um, So I guess I would say that I do, but not formally anymore. Um, because I work with so many people. <laughs> And then I continue to want to uh, explore and, and work with more Celtic deities and um, North mythology that, you know, that haven't yet. And like I said, I've worked with um, Bastet as well. Um, so right now, nothing, no one specific, but just the goddess in general currently. Um, number nine, favorite pantheon. I already said that. Norse, Mil uh, I basically have several. It's the Norse and Celtic, and most predominantly probably Greek and Roman. Um, favorite goddess is most likely Bastet, um, Venus, jeez, oh, there's so many, um, the Morrigan. Uh, I don't, so much that I have a favorite. They're all kind of my favorite. They're all wonderful, amazing women that it's an honor to know about, an honor to work with if you get the chance. And favorite god, definitely Loki, but he's a little dangerous. Um, I don't really work with the Horn God, or or any really, um, lately, so much as um, in the past I have, but lately not much. So I don't really have a favorite, if we're being honest. Um, as far as like just in general a story, probably would be Zeus, and, and uh, Thor they're the most interesting I think um, my sun sign is Taurus I am a Taurus with a lot of moons in Gemini and Scorpio and a lot of my chart is kind of all over the place but I am a Taurus and if you get to know me you know that for sure um, number 13 my moon sign is Scorpio uh, do you have a familiar I do not um, I would love to and someday, hopefully, I will get one, you know, or, or find one, um, however the process goes about for me. But right now, I do not. Um, number 15, thoughts on the afterlife. Don't believe in heaven. Um, not because I'm anti-Christian and not because I grew up Christian or anything like that, but I believe in reincarnation. I have a lot of feelings that that is how things are going to go, especially not just because I believe in the threefold law, um, but also just in general. I really believe that, you know, we have multiple times around this earth. We have multiple chances to grow our souls. Um, I really, really like the concept that just because you die at like 12 in this life, you're not going to be, that's not all you've got. You've got lives ahead of that that you're going to learn and you're going to grow and your soul if you believe in the soul, which I kind of do, and just because of re reincarnation, um, your soul is going to grow and it's going to evolve and it's going to get even more wonderful. So, um, let's see. Have you had any paranormal experiences? Yes. I have seen lots of ghosts. And, you know, yeah. 
I've been in seances with the Ouija boards and I guess we'd call them paranormal. It's not, you know, yeah, really. The answer is yes. Um, number 17, are you out of the broom closet? How are your friends and family feel about that? We've already had this conversation, already addressed this, and um, I am about 50-60%. Number 18, what is something that inspires you? Well, I'm inspired by nature in general. I'm inspired by especially the night sky, hence the moonshine, and um, trees, hence a uh, willow. I love trees. I've actually got leaves drying over here. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Um, they're going to be going on my altar at some point. Um, I love them. I love trees. I love the night sky. I love the daytime sky. I love the stars. I love the planets. Yes. <laughs> I'm inspired by nature and especially the heavens, I guess you'd call them, for lack of a better word. Um, number 19. Do you have an altar? Yes, I do. I most definitely do. I actually just did a video on it, and I um, change it a lot. It's my working altar. If I have um, time, I'll do my not so much working altar. But so far, I just will do the one video because I already did that. And number 20, what is the spell that you've done? Well, this is kind of a general question. I don't really... I don't think there's an easy answer. I've done a lot. If they mean recently... Um, I haven't really done many spells recently. I think most recently I did a success spell. Um, and I do more ritual lately than I do spells. Um, not because I don't want to, but because that's I haven't really felt the need to do like a money spell or a love spell because I'm already deeply in love. Um, gratitude, I don't... I haven't done any in a very long time besides the one I recently did for success. And that was more of a personal thing than than success in the work space, but success for myself. Um, and I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to do 20 questions um, to start with because <laughs> 40 is over. I'm already at like 13 minutes and you guys probably don't want to hear me ramble. So I'll get you again and I'll see you in part two of the 40 questions with you tag. Bye!